Okay, friends, welcome back. We are studying the book of Exodus. We're 28 chapters in, and today we're going to look at verses 48 in the 28th chapter. Let me read them speedily. These are the garments which they shall make, a breastpiece and an ephod and a robe and a tunic of checkered work, a turban and a sash, and they shall make holy garments for Aaron, your brother, and his sons, that he may minister as priest to me. They shall make the they shall take the gold and the blue and the purple and the scarlet material and the fine linen. They shall also make the ephod of gold, of blue and of purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen and the work of skillful workmen. It shall have two shoulder pieces joined to its two ends that it may be joined. The skillfully woven band which is on it shall be like its workmanship of the same material of gold, of blue, of purple and scarlet material and fine tw twisted linen. So here we have, we're going to find out there's eight things that the high priest, uh, his accoutrements are going to be his clothing, the whole set, the ephod, and all this. There's going to be eight pieces for him. The regular priests are going to get four, uh, four of these elements. There's two more that are coming up that aren't really in this passage that we've quoted today. But uh, anyway, some interesting bits here as we just look at this at the beginning. We're just beginning to get the, the, the garments laid out. And the only point I'm going to make here before we finish today is very interesting to see that most of these garments are made of the same material as the hangings, the ceiling inside the sanctuary, the, the walls, you know, the ceiling pieces where we have these woven linen uh, business with cherry beam on it, uh, portrayed on it. It's the same material, this twisted linen and, and so on that you have here. It's the same kind of material. Uh, so we see it here at verse 5. They shall take the gold and the blue and the purple and the scarlet material and the fine linen. And so the priestly garments are made out of the same stuff as the ceiling in the sanctuary, the tabernacle. Kind of an interesting piece because what's represented inside the sanctuary, what's represented is, is there are cherubim, angels, a kind of angel who are coming and going, doing God's bidding in terms of his ministry, removing sin from his people, giving them power to overcome, or giving them forgiveness and hope and life through Jesus, through the offering, the sacrifice of Jesus. God is constantly working between heaven and earth. Jesus is the ladder that opens between heaven and earth. The angels ascend and descend on the basis of Jesus, who is our great Melchizedek high priest. If you go to the book of Hebrews, you'll see that. And so here, all this that we're looking at here in the book of Exodus is pointing to this other we'll find in Leviticus and in Hebrews and elsewhere in the Bible, that Jesus is really our high priest. There is a heavenly sanctuary. The earthly one is a copy of the heavenly one. It is at least a representation of the heavenly one on a much smaller scale, obviously. But God is working to remove sin from his people. He wants to be in our midst. He wants us to be with him. We are his own unique people. And so the whole business here is to remove sin. If we think we can sort of dance around the sin issue, like, oh, don't worry about it, God. When you become a Christian, you get a get-out-of-jail-free card, and you can just do whatever you want, party at a party hardy, and, and uh, wind up in heaven, you know, uh, having the barbecue in heaven. No, that's not quite the way it's going to be. So God is removing sin from his people. He is a holy God. These are solemn things. And the priests are actually dressed with clothing that's made of the same kind of thing, representing that they're part of this ministry. This ministry includes God. It includes his angels. It also includes his human priesthood. And although here we're talking about human high priests, you know, of the Levitical line, uh, we also recognize that all of us, in a sense, uh, become priests. Uh, we all have this ministry also of intercession and mediation where we are sent on God's behalf to tell others the good news, to share the things that God has given to us, and to help other people be forgiven and receive the peace of God and the help of God. So uh, that's a little bit further on. But anyway, Jesus is a great high priest. I'm a Protestant, but I have a high priest. It's not a priest, a Roman priest. It is Jesus. He's my great high priest. So anyway, we're looking here at how God laid down uh, this system for a period of time for the Hebrews. And so we're going to keep on looking at it. And you have a beautiful day, and we will see you tomorrow morning back as we carry on and look some more at the next business.